They call me Looch. What's going on, YouTube? Dorito. And the Looch Carburetor. And today we're here actually going to be swapping out a carburetor on the Trailmaster 150 XRS. Now, we cleaned the carburetor the last time, but it wasn't enough. There was so much crap floating around in his fuel system, it wasn't going to work. So we had to clean everything out, and we got us a brand new go fast car. Yep. So what we've done is I've already pre swapped the jets from the original carburetor. We bought those, right? Yes, we did. That's right. We bought the jets from Buggy Parts Northwest. Northwest. And you guys can check them out. We'll leave a link below, and we'll leave a link in the description below as well. They carry... Good guys. I, I just discovered them. These people carry so many parts. If you need it, masters. they got it. Yes. The Buggy Parts Northwest. They have it. Yes. So, so far, so good. I just, Good customer service, people. Yeah, they were on it. They awesome. were on the point. So, so big shout check out them to out Buggy Parts Northwest. In the link. Yep. So, anyways, we got this carburetor. We swapped the jets out because it's got the hammerhead exhaust system and it's got the upgraded intake and jets and stuff like that. So did we do that? I did that. Really? Yes, I what? did. When? I did it the other day. I took a picture. I posted it. Um, but I did swap out the jets. So I hope I got it right. We're going to be showing you film of the new bonfire. We're going to start out in the middle of the desert. People. Yeah. It's going to be great. So what we're going to do this time is, is we're going to slap. We're going to remove the old carburetor. Put the new carburetor in, and then we're going to go ahead and test drive it as well this time. Hey, to make luck. sure that everything's good to go and it's ready to go down the road. All right? We can so, do that? Yes, we can do that today. Are you sure we're capable yes. of this crap? And then also, too, after we do that, we're going to turn this buggy around. And, you know, this we're going to take accordion thing. lessons. Yeah, the cool thing about the Trailmaster, uh, the XRS and the XRX 150, is they have tilt steering. And we've got these little, these little, boot covers <laughs> we're getting a little wore out so we actually got wore out them. yes these things smack fell off in the middle of the desert people they were trying to ride it yeah they were pretty bad so we got new ones so we got some new ones to put on and those are also from buggy parts northwest so buggy parts yeah, northwest even your little bell and whistle parts that you need and stuff like that they got all that stuff they have a blown up diagram right on it too yep. and it's numbered and everything look at these split yep which i thought was pretty awesome so we're going to go ahead and put the those on as well Make sure that's all pretty, and then we'll take it for a test drive. I gotta learn what one of these things is. <laughs> Carburetions? <laughs> well, one of these carbadoodles is. Carbadoodle? Wow. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get on it. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off, grab the camera, and I'm gonna film Luch up close showing you guys how to remove this Wait carburetor. A minute. I'm gonna do this? You're gonna do this. That's this car never gonna run again. Yep. All right, people. We're gonna put this new carburetor on. So, we're gonna take you step by step on uh, how to get the old one off and then reinstall the new one. So, first thing we gotta do is take our inlet tube off. So we gotta take the bolt out for the top and make sure you put these things in a place where you uh, won't kick them or lose them. Like I do. Oh, okay, there you go. All right, now then, you come back around here and you take the uh, rest of the inlet off. Like so. Keeping all parts together. Now, there is an electric choke on this, as you can see. So we're gonna need to get to the electronic part, which is under this little black box. So you're gonna have to take these little screws out here, like so. And then come on in here, and it looks like that just goes right to there, and comes right out, like so. There you go. Now we're going to take the rest of the carburetor out. So we're going to take the throttle linkage off and then uh, unscrew the rest of it from the rest of the intake. So you take a 12 millimeter, loosen up the bolt. Take it out of its protective holder and pull it back. And there you have that. Stick that over to the side so it does not get in your way. Now you've got a couple uh, vacuum lines here. One goes to the intake and one comes up here to your vent line. You're gonna wanna take those off and then your fuel line also, which is down below. Your fuel line will be easier to take off once you get the carburetor loose. Pull it up and out, and then you can get 
to your fuel line. And then right out the side here. Just like so. See that? See that? Amazing, huh? Don't do what Chip do to your carbonu. Okay, now we got our replacement carbonu. And this comes with all the uh, uh, proper attachments that your other ones had. And we'll just turn this down to where it goes. All right, see, there's other vent line there. All right. And the, we just follow the reverse order. What are you doing over there? I'm cleaning my hands because he got gasoline on. Chip uses a lot of lotion, people. It's, it's amazing how much lotion Chip goes through. Every time I see him, he's, he's got lotion on his hands. I don't know what it's for. It puts the lotion on the skin. You're weird. All right, people. We're going to go put this back on now. So, we stick this back in the hole and run your vent tube down below. And then stick your carbonoodle back in his proper testicle. What? Okay, now, uh, as you remember, we have the electric choke that we need to run back down inside our little black box. So we'll run that accordingly, keeping all electrical components safe inside said box. Right, now we can put that. our little black box back on. Okay, now that we've got our uh, throttle cable back on, we can put the rest of our intake back in. You just slip it on there. And uh, that bolt you took out before, you can put that back on now. Yeah, we got a guy up on Looch Mountain that's got a Jeep. He calls the booby bouncer. And this is like a booby bouncer. You go all the way, people. All the way. Okay, okay. your intake's tight. Your carburetor's tight, your throttle's tight, your hoses are all on and tight. Air filter is not on at all. No. Let's put that on. Okay. All right. So that, that right there, in real time, is pretty much what it takes to replace your carburetor. Okay, so shall we just give it a quick start? In real time? In real time, right now. Yep. You got that fire extinguisher ready? Yep. Where's it at? Right there. Well, how are you going to get it once I catch on fire? Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh crap. Oh, let's try this, shall we? So now we're going to switch it around and we're going to go ahead and switch the boots out. And then after that, we'll go ahead and get on a test ride. All right. I'm done sucking on the tailpipe. Yep. So we need to let a little bit, a little bit of air out and take a breather for a second. We'll get Boy, we got air out. All right. Be right back. Threes. Threes. <laughs> are you coming in here? Perfect. Did you make up your mind? All right, people, we're back. We're, we are back. Yeah, we are. I'm just back for a second. We're actually going to end up putting the boots on here. Luch we're going to get the boot. Luch is going to remove that. And then 
I actually have a new seat belt that I need to put I'm on, serious. but I'll slap that on in a bit. I'm He'll just slap it around. This other stuff out of the way here. Right, what do you do? Why did you do this beforehand? Because I just wanted to be a part Boy, of the video. Boy, our production values are plummeting. I wanted to be a part of the video. Oh, well, I'm glad you were a part of this. Yes. So, explain to what you're going to do, Luke. Oh, well, is it me now? <laughs> yes, take it on over. Well, we're going to give it the boot. <laughs> Okay, and explain to them what you need to do to do that. All right, well, we're going to take the steering wheel off, people, and uh, replace the boots on our uh, steering knuckles. And to do that, all you need is a 13-millimeter uh, wrench, and uh, sometimes there's a circlip in here that you need to take off. Uh, this time, there isn't. We don't know why, but mysteriously, it's not there. Yeah, and actually, the steering wheel went all the way down. It was adjustable steering. That's the... That's what he's going to stick and, with. And if that down, was the case, it, it, it would still be there dangling. Yeah. But since we got no dangling participles, uh, it's not there, is it? Now, we did purchase a circlip from Buggy, Port, Buggy Parts Northwest. Buggy Parts Northwest. You know, to put on there. But, but we don't have... My, my heterosexual life partner here failed to tell me this, so we did not bring the proper tool. We did not bring the proper tool we to did not. install this. Uh, so what we could do is slip it on here and leave it there till next time. Or not. maybe push it up with a screwdriver. We could possibly do that. Why don't you go get that, Sir Clip, so we can do that? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Shall we? Now, you know, it's great having a heterosexual life partner. Your, your life will always be excited, people. Now then, you can just loosen this little nut up here like this, like the nut in his head. You just loosen it up and you- We got two, just in case. Two in case, well, you know. <laughs> And, and then this this little bolt right here, this Hold little on. bolt of mine. What? We're going to get up on there. You're going to make it shine. Am I still hot here? Yes, you are. Good? Okay, you got to take that bolt all the way out, people. It's called a pinch, pinch bolt. It comes out. And look at that. You can pull that steering wheel smack up. Just like that. Just like that, people. Just like that. Very simple. Look at that. Let me okay. Give me that. Let me wipe that down while you uh, while you switch out the boots there. Get that dust. All right. And you got any grease to put in there? It should be greased. Yeah. Okay, now then. What you do? Oh crap! This is gonna be fun. I got some graphite spray. All right, this is. Um, wow. Would you like to use that? I don't think this is gonna. Um, uh, oh. Good. It's like you know I haven't. Squeeze it through, buddy. I haven't put one of these things on since my college days. Um, through the magic of television, <laughs> we're gonna bring this. To you shortly. Let's see what he's ready to get to, people. It's a little, t like I said, since my college days. It's I can't. It's a little tough. <laughs> I can't really get my finger on it. Okay, Luch, go ahead and do the hand clap real quick. Four more, baby, four more. <laughs> Welcome back to Two Idiot Garage. I'm idiot one. Here with idiot two. Watch and learn how not to do stuff. First step, spread it as far as you can. <laughs> That's like your whole leg. Okay. Yeah, great, people. Uh, questions. Try again. Questions? <laughs> it's that simple. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. What? <laughs> Crap. Okay. It's going down fast! Well, it's just going down fast, people! Oh, oh crap. Okay, back to the bird's eye view. Oh my god, I'm dying over there. Look, loose tears! They're more valuable than gold. Okay, what? I'm crying here! What did you get? It's the wrong way! Okay, put it on that way. You try it. No! How are you supposed to get it over there? That's what I'm saying. This hurts my wanger! I threw the magic of television. Voila! We've got our little baby baby buggy boots on here. So now we reverse our order in putting this back together, people. So we slide our shaft right over the spline. Alright. So we take our ratchet wrench, our ratchet, and uh, we tighten up the bottom one. Good and tight. Now then, we take our steering wheel, which we've cleaned and re-lubricated. And you put that back in, making sure that you put it straight up, like when you took it apart. Straight up? Straight up, now I'll tell you. Oh, no, you're not going to sing, are you? Forever. Oh, oh, oh. oh. 
All right, and you just put the other pinch bolt right in there. They call it a pinch bolt, people, because that's what it does to your damn finger. Good. And die. Clank. Okay, you heard it. Heard it. Now let's feel our steering, shall we? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty neat, huh? <laughs> now. So anyways, back oh, to the rest. Oh, it's never a dull moment here. I bring up and the lucha cover. So, yeah. what do you think? I think it's, uh, we pulled down the little boot a little bit more, and it's a beautiful thing. I think you need a screwdriver first. I though. think I do, too. And we're going to do this off camera, because I'm going to poke an eye out when I do it. Clap your hats. <laughs> All right, people. Amazing, this magic of television thing, because with just a screwdriver and a little bit of help with your uh, uh, right and left arms, you can just slide this right up over into the groove and hold your pin there. Uh, now you can freely loosen this up and go up and down with your steering. Freely. See how free that? Freely that moves. Freely. So, there you have it. Look at that, people. Pretty cool, huh? Now you take your little boots and you can just move them up around the bolts there. And get those done over on the end. So everything is nice and tight. All right. And then while we're... Uh... He's picking everything up. We're going to slap that seatbelt on, and uh, then we'll get it ready for a drive, him and I. What? Yep. You're, you're going to drive? Yep, and you're oh, going to ride shotgun. Yeah. Shotgun. They call that for a reason, you know. Yep. So we're back. Okay, so take it away, Luch. Well, as you saw, we went through all of that, and it still has a little sputter up at the top end. Yes, so that means the jet. We didn't put a big enough jet in there. We gotta put a bigger size jet in there. Bigger is always better. Yeah, it needs more fuel. It's it, it's running great, but at the top it needs end, more fuel. it just needs more fuel. So what we're gonna do is, we talked about it off camera. We did? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the performance CDI. Hey, it's your dime. So we're going to get a performance CDI from... Um, because that will help the fuel problem. Yeah, well, no, it isn't going to help the fuel problem. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the carb, we're going to switch up the jets next time, and we're going to put the performance CDI on there. That should now, make it run good. Now, hopefully, this is, solves the problem. If not, we'll address it. I don't know. If not, uh, it, it needs a, a small block Chevy in it. Yeah, there is something going on. Um, I do believe it is the jets because it was a carburetor issue. Um, from the gate because People, of the fuel. if you let your stuff sit in storage, make sure you drain the fuel or put in an adequate fuel stabilizer yes. so your stuff don't turn to varnish. Yes. 
And we have learned this at Dorito and the Lucha Cabre. Well, we knew this at Lucha Cabre. Yeah, but not Dorito. We didn't know this at Dorito. <laughs> Stable. This is what you want to use. Use some Stable, people. Yeah. So, you know, but we're going to be driving this cart for a bit. That's why I want to make sure it's all dialed in and stuff. We're going to be running the green one. We're going to be driving with George Fudo. We're even going to ride my daughter's buggy. Lucha's going to go ahead and drive that sometime. I am? Yes, he is, because I don't fit too well in it. Lucha, and I do? Well, you're five foot, what, six and a hundred and one? Five, five foot, okay. Two? Five foot three, five foot four, and about a hundred and, seriously, a hundred and what? Forty-nine. A hundred and forty-nine now. Forty-nine? I take turns bigger than Lucha. Not even a buck and a half yet. Yeah, so, anyways, I got a good hundred, hundred pounds on him at least. Yeah, that's all up here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get that done next time and make sure this thing is running tip top. But I hope you enjoyed the crowd we brought you today. Yeah, we did. We did install the new boots, which came out awesome. They look great. Don't they, though? Yeah, we put in the new, we put in the new clip. We, that looks great. Yeah, we did get the new carb. Now, we do have two carbs, so we can go ahead and I can actually swap the jets out on that carb, and then we can swap them. No? Uh, that's a great idea. So what Luch is gonna do <laughs> is Luch is gonna pull the carb, and he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna swap the jets. And we'll be bringing that to you live. Yeah. Well, we will be getting that done because this is what Luch is gonna be driving for the most part. Because I'll be driving. The because car. I got into a terrible accident in, in the Raptor in, in the six point two liberal charge power Raptor, <laughs> and now it's gonna have to go into the body shop because thank you, Mother Nature. We're bringing a tree crashing down on the bed. Yeah, so this is going to be his daily commuter. This is going to be my right? daily commuter. Yep. Back and forth to work. Yep, going up and down Lynch Mountain. Up we got to make sure he's lit up. Oh, right damn, my future's so bright. I should have worn shades. So I want to thank you guys. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I want to thank you guys we for watching. To. And, you know, um, we really appreciate you guys. You know, we wouldn't we wouldn't be doing this stuff without you guys. We just want you to well, do We're it. barely doing the stuff with you guys. Yeah, so, <laughs> so anyway, like? we hope you guys enjoy everything. And don't forget to come back to Dorito and the Lucha Cabre. Rock on! Peace.